Hello and good morning to all. We're here at the Queen's Park Oval. You join us for this five-over match between South Africa and Nepal. I'm Adam Gilchrist and with me for this exciting contest is Michael Atherton, Mel Jones and the one and only Ali Mitchell. It's great to be here for this match. I'm sure we'll be treated to a spectacular contest. Thanks, Alison. It looks like the captains are ready for the toss. Let's go pitch side. The right call here, I'd say. OK, everything looks set to get this match underway. I think the new ball will get some movement, and the openers are going to have to be wary of that. Square cut, finds point, no run. Goes over the top with that shot. Now, great opportunity to prove the critics wrong. Certainly needs to build an innings for the team. Great shot, pulled straight to backward square leg though. Edged it. No one there. Could be four. Nearly got through them, just got onto it in time, and with enough bat speed to pick up four. Boundary last ball. What's to come this delivery? I wonder. Smacks that away through the gap. Nine runs out of there. Nepal, a nine for none. Good over for the batters to start the innings. The right arm fast bowler is coming into the attack from the river end. Couldn't get it through the field. Yep. Onto the front foot, super shot, should be four. Showed good composure to wait on that slower ball and find room to get the four runs. Just a fantastic shot. Getting nicely settled at the crease now. Would have to be very happy with that last shot. Can't get that outside the ring field.
Plex that one, simple as you like, inside the ring. Yeah. Got that away nicely. Watched it closely out of the hand and hammered that slower ball away to the boundary. End of the over. Nine off it. Nepal are 18 for none. Maharaj, the left armour, is coming into the attack from the Darbo end. Perfectly timed. There was a gap there and pulled away with conviction to the boundary. A uh, good contest here at the moment. Four off the last ball. It'll be interesting to see how the bowler can respond. Nice shot, cut away, running towards the boundary. That'll take some chasing. Well, that one's for the textbook. Stands tall on top of the bounce and a lovely flick of the wrist at the end. Two boundaries in a row. Time to focus back to line and length. Finds the fielder with that shot. Huge shot. That's a massive shot. Just incredible. Showing that they mean business this innings. Barely seem to have got going and they're hitting sixes. Always difficult to focus after what happened last ball, but you just got to stay positive and believe the wicket's going to come. Cuts that off well in the infield. 14 runs out of there. Nepal, a 32 for none. Stevens, the left arm unorthodox bowler, is coming into the attack from the river end. Swept away but finds the fielder. That's just a brilliantly aggressive shot. Gets onto the front foot and it's flown over the boundary. I'd like to see them just aim for the top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Missed it. That was a chance. Oh. Bowling fielders look really confident.
end of the over. Eight runs coming from it. Nepal, a 40 for none. They're setting up the middle order to really attack the later overs. The left arm medium bowler is coming into the attack from the Darbo end. Drilled that one away. You can't hit the ball much better than that. Timed it to perfection. That last ball isn't something you want to repeat of. You don't want to be giving away easy runs. A little fall, and that's going to be four runs. Well, you sometimes just have to stop and admire batting like that. Gets onto the front foot early, well-timed, and four runs. Back-to-back -back boundaries. Can they make it three in a row and really put the bowler on the back foot? They've gone up here. A fluent innings undone by a decent delivery. A good wicket to get at a good time. The field will come up now, you'd think. Pressure should be on as the new batter strides to the middle. They'll be looking for another quick wicket. The bowler looks really confident. That's a strong appeal. What's the umpire's decision? And the innings comes to an end. South Africa will need 50 runs. The openers are coming out. It's a very gettable total. They just need to get off to a good start and not give anything silly away. It's the silly stuff that could give the bowlers a sniff in this match. The new batter always likes to feel bad on ball as they bring a bit of nervous energy to the wicket. Huge edge. Time to keep the pressure on now. Great ball, that last one, to find the edge. It's just a case of finding the same spot. Great shot through the gap. That is a masterclass of batting. Reads the length, gets forward, dispatches it to the boundary. Yeah, it can be very disheartening seeing good delivery smacked around. Sometimes, though, you've just got to accept it and move on. Over the infield with a cracking shot. Four runs. They were so still at the crease. Just a slight movement forward. Fabulous shot.
Do they go full? Do they go short? A lot to ponder this delivery after the boundary. The bowler and the slips have really gone up here. They like it. Great shot, rode the ball up with him and cut through point. Erd's on the side of bowling slightly fuller and have been put away. Smashed all over the park. I wonder if the captain will stick with them. Going with pace now. Perfectly timed. That was a beautiful shot. Rocks onto the back foot and stabs the ball away. Fielders have no chance. Don't always mind getting hit for runs. What's important, just focus on getting the next delivery right. Clever shot, moved across the line of the ball and just clipped it away. Fine leg won't stop that. Well, didn't time that at all, but managed to get it away to the boundary. Can't afford to go too full again. It does help to switch up your deliveries, just to keep them guessing. Great shot, pulled straight to backward square leg though. It's a good delivery, but it doesn't matter when you play it like that. Four runs. This delivery just needs to be pitched up on length. Too short, and you're going to get punished on this pitch. That was seen so early. The timing was brilliant, and that is stayed hit. Fantastic. Last one helped the scoring rate, making their intentions for this innings. Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. That's the end of the over. Just magical batting. Nothing the bowler can do other than watch the ball go all over the ground. This bowler knows how to give the ball an almighty tweak. Let's see how they go. Doesn't beat the infield. Drilled that one away. Was quick onto that in the infield. Massive outside edge. Just 
He's got to follow up that last delivery. Found the edge, but no reward, but putting pressure on the batter. End of the over. Two runs added to the total. South Africa, a 35 for none. The right arm medium bowler is coming on to bowl from the Darbo end. Oh, now then, that's high in the air. Batters should get a few here. That's just silly. The power on that shot is incredible. That's the sort of shot you want to see at a cricket match. Just need to keep it simple. Line and length. Roundabout off stump. That'll force a mistake. That's going a long way. What a shot. Well, any sign of nerves approaching the half century can be forgotten. A brilliant shot for six. Boundary last ball. What's to come this delivery? I wonder. Well, dealt with that beautifully. Saw the short one and got out of the way. No more of those in this over. Just two to win. Misses everything. Oh, there you go. A no ball. Maybe just trying a little too hard. Just need to get more control back. They're going to go in for the kill with this delivery. It's up to the new batter to make sure the fielding side doesn't pick up any more momentum. Too full. Should get what it deserved. Threw the hands at it. Got it early, but enough on it to get four. That was a mighty win. Really just too easy to score runs and chase down that total with time to spare. A great...